Coming up next, it's a welterweight showcase between Nick Diaz and former top contender, Nate Diaz. This outlaw from Stockton, California, Nate Diaz, the younger brother of longtime competitor Nick. Both men are black belts in Gracie Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Diaz loves to put on a show. He's very active with his striking, and if he gets his opponent to the mat, he has multiple ways to finish the fight. Nate Diaz has outstanding cardio, a long reach, excellent striking, and a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. This combination of skills has kept him amongst the best in the world at 155 pounds. A true mixed martial arts veteran and one of the most durable fighters in UFC history, Nick Diaz, the seasoned Gracie Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt, shuns the spotlight and craves only combat. The former Strike Force welterweight champion is back to showcase his skills tonight. Nick Diaz combines attitude with elite cardio, a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and outstanding boxing to make for a dangerous combination inside the octagon. Nick Diaz set to go to battle with Nate Diaz. For this welterweight fight, Diaz is two years his elder. The rest is virtually identical. Once again, here's the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu player, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, presenting an ultimate fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! And now, this is opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter, holding the national record of 26 wins, nine losses, and two no contests. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA, Nick Diaz! And with the attributes, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee. Ready to fight? Ready. And here we go. Tonight's fight is scheduled for three five-minute rounds. White trunks for Diaz. Black trunks for Diaz. Nick Diaz can do it all. But one of the things to really look out for with his stand-up is his left hook. Now he's taking some punishment here early, Joe. Good combination by Diaz. Oh, solid jab. Now he's in full guard. Tries to get out of full guard and into half, but doesn't make it. And he winds up on top. Uh -oh. That's a big elbow, Joe. Huge elbow. Hip escape, nice hip escape. See if he looks for a knee. He's doing a great job of moving and transitioning here on the ground. Side control. Nicely done. Neat with good connection from the bottom. It looks like he's trying to set up an on bar here. And he got it out. Hip escape. Gets out of the full mount. He's back up. Nick Diaz is getting all kinds of love for the 
Big front kick jump. Showing the punch. Good roundhouse kick to the midsection. Man, he can't take too many of those body shots. Nick gets hit with that inside leg kick. Both men landing in that exchange. And back up again. He's got some time to work here, 45 seconds. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him hard there, Mike. Diaz's kick just missed. The kick gets through. Nate with some solid kicks. Oh, we got tagged. He is really finding a home for those body kicks. Joe, you're all over him. The kicks to the body, a true factor in this one. Nice roundhouse kick to the body. Round one complete. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round. And here's a nice shot, lands perfectly. And here's another clean shot that lands. And another perfectly placed strike. We really got a chance to see some awesome action in that round. Just be careful when one is gone to maintain posture and just going up and trying this. The lovely Brittany getting a set for round number two. You ready to fight? Ready. Here Ooh. is round two. Starting off this round, you gotta think he's probably still hurt from that last round. He's gonna wanna move and avoid taking damage early. Hard leg kick. Caught him with a punch. And there's another nice kick. Very nice kicks here. Oh, he's getting some hip in that one. And here we see the number of total strikes landed so far in the fight. Diaz caught by that head kick. Really threw everything into that uppercut, but fell short. Great front kick to the face. Oh, and he's down. And he's up. You can hear that one. There's a nice kick. And the clinch. And they disengage from the clinch. Nice left hook to the body. He blocks that hook. Midway point of the fight, Joe. He missed that kick. Nice shot. There's a body shot. There's a solid body shot. Diaz with a good right kick to the body. Wow, what a back and forth exchange. Solid lead right by Diaz. Controlling the center of the octagon is a huge part of fighting, and he's doing a very good job of it. He's holding the center and keeping his opponent with his back to the cage at all times. Joe, we're really starting to see the accumulation of those body shots in the damage. Yeah, no doubt about that one. Nice, oh, nice. nice kick. He caught the kick. Switching his stance up a little bit. Oh, and he goes up top of the kick. Nice knee. 20 seconds. There's another one. These are powerful knees. Hard kick to the head. Man, he'd go 
goes down. We have completed two rounds. Here's a perfect head kick. Here's a nasty head kick that lands. Here we see an excellent kick. Connects flush with perfect timing. Excellent striking on display in that round. This is the last round. It's not even to the judges. You gotta go out there and put them away. You got this one. Jab, jab, low kick. Jab, jab, hide. The lovely Ariani here tonight in Los Angeles, California. Ready to fight? Ready. Five minutes remains. Joe, that was a good round we just saw. It'll be very interesting to see if the fighters can keep this pace up. I think they will keep this pace. I think they're actually going to probably start turning it up a notch as we head down the home stretch. Nick Diaz with an excellent leg kick. There he goes, stand up. And he counters with a straight left. Look at the bruising on his right outer thigh. Nick gets caught by the inside leg kick. And Joey, take a look at the striking accuracy for Nate Diaz, landing 45% of his total strikes. Look at that, he's tying that jab. Nice leg kick. Good defense, and he counters with a jab. Close in the distance. He's got the clinch, Joe. Struggling to get to clinch. Three minutes remain in this third and final round. Good straight right. Diaz with the combination. He's able to slip the left. That was a brutal right leg kick, Mike. He's got some outstanding kicks. There's a nice left hand. He attempts the single, but can't get it. Nice movement on the ground. He's got the back. This is where he's outstanding. Diaz is trying for a submission here. He's got it locked in. Oh, that's tight. That's very tight, Mike. It's very close here. That was a deep arm bar, but a beautiful escape. Side control. He's working over under here. They separate from the clinch. Oh, that head kick caught him. Man, the damage to his thigh is so excessive. I don't know how much longer he can stay in this fight. Full mount. Oh, he's keeping busy from the bottom. Look at this. He's out of it. 10 seconds. They go the distance. Both of these fighters landed big shots in what was a very close fight as we await the official decision. Huge bombs landed, traded back and forth. This was a really aggressive and fast-paced fight and a really exciting one to watch. Round three, this thunderous head kick finds its way through the guard. Bruce Buffer gathering the judges' scorecards. They are rendering their decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 9-28. Declared the winner by unanimous decision, Nick Diaz! Nick Diaz earns the unanimous decision victory.